this is Mongkin Prepuse. I will be sharing a tutorial on how to use the Electronic Self-Assessment Tool Consolidation or the ESAT Consolidation. This ESAT Consolidation will be of great help to our school heads, our ICT coordinator, or the focal person in charge of collecting and consolidating the ESAT files of our teachers. Disclaimer lamang po, this ESAT console can only consolidate the ESAT files using this template that I have provided in our previous video. At ito po ay consolidation per school. In our previous video, sinare natin yung ating ESAT file. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-download, here are the links. It is also posted on the description box. Please remember, there is no need to request for access to edit the file. No need to ask for the password. Just download the file or save a copy. Here are the steps in consolidating the ESAT. The first step is to download the ESAT console file. Do not open in Google Drive or OneDrive. Tandaan po natin that this is a macro-enabled file that requires to be opened in Microsoft Excel. The second step is to create a folder for your school containing all the ESAT file of your teachers. Note, that there should only be one consolidation per school. We have to move the ESAT console in the same location as the created folder. Hindi po sa loob ng created folder. Nasa labas lamang po. The third step is to open the ESAT console. Enable macros. Click enable editing and enable content. Or, right-click, select Properties, check Unblock, and then select Apply. Enabling macros may vary in different versions of Excel. Yung iba, pwede pong gawin ang ganitong steps. Click the File tab, click Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings. In the Trust Center, click Macro Settings and make the selections that you want, then click OK. This page will appear once you open the ESAT console. Accomplish the information fields like school name and school ID. It also has an option to auto-generate certificate which is one of our MOV for Objective 14. The certification from the ICT coordinator, school head, or the focal person in charge of ESAT. Pag-click po ng yes after ng consolidation ng ESAT, mag-generate na siya ng certificate. Pag no naman, it will consolidate the ESAT files but will not generate the certificates. You also have an option to generate the certificate in individual PDF files or all certificates in a single Excel file. Meron din po itong code, which I will give later. Then, click the button Consolidate ESAT. Step 5 is to select the folder where the ESAT files are stored. Do not double-click or open the folder. You just simply select by clicking it once and then click OK to start the process of consolidation. Wait for the consolidation to finish. Sometimes it will take a while, depende po sa bilang ng ating mga teachers. Once the consolidation is done, a prompt will indicate that the files or the ESAT were successfully consolidated. You may now start exploring the other sheets to view the consolidated report of ESAT data of our teachers. Here are some of the reports that are consolidated using the ESAT console. 
The first is the demographic profile. Nandito po ang lahat ng mga profiles ng ating mga proficient and the highly proficient teachers. The next one is the result of part 2 or the objectives depende po sa level of capability and priority for development na pinili ng ating mga teachers. We can also use this as a basis sa pagpaplano natin ng ating mga lock sessions or ng mga focus group discussions. Notice na meron po diyang mga nakared. Ibig sabihin, yung mga objectives po na yan ang kanilang level of capability as well as the priority for development. Meron din po tayong core behavioral competencies. Naka-highlight din po kung ano yung kanilang mga priorities. The next step is to generate the certificates. Kung hindi po natin kinlik ang yes kanina sa home para sa auto-generation ng certificate, pwede po natin balikan iyon para makapag-generate tayo ng certificate. Pero tandaan po natin that we have to update first the cells with the red font. Pwede rin po natin i-attach ang e-signature. So ano-ano po yung mga i-update natin? We need to update our school's division office, our school address, pangalan po ng ating magiging signatory, ganun din ang kanyang designation. Once we are done updating those data, pwede na po ulit tayong bumalik sa home and click Generate Certificates. And our last step is to save and rename your file by adding the name or the initials of your school at the end. For example, esatconsole-dwnhs. Kanina, Sa ating home, hinihingan niya tayo ng code. Ang code po ay kailangan natin bago natin maklik ang Consolidate ESAT. At ito na po ang code. I-type or i-encode lamang po ang code na yan bago natin i-click ang Consolidate ESAT. Saan po pwedeng i-download ang ating ESAT console? Same link lang po. Tandaan, hindi po kinakailangan mag-request for access or ng password. All you have to do is to download the ESAT console file. Pero, huwag kalimutan i-type ang code na ipinakita ko kanina. Also, please do not forget to like and share this video tutorial on consolidating the ESAT. Huwag din kalimutang mag-subscribe para updated ka sa iba pang automated tools na isha-share natin. Once again, this is Mamtin Prepuse. Thank you for watching!